Hey guys and girls, this is Snowy here and welcome to part 6 of Far Beneath the Ocean here on our artificial island. And in the previous episode we had our first tsunami which we sort of, yeah, you know, went through pretty well. Although the water came over this edge but it did not cause too much damage but the tsunami was only a 4.8 so don't want to know what an actual 10 will do so yeah okay we have been dealing a lot with these train uh, stations over here and making also these um, industrialized areas uh, a little bit more um, complete you know with all the buildings the factories with the warehouses the unique factories and also the, uh, the other buildings and I was thinking about well, judging by the amount of trains on this line, you know, like we have seen in the last episode, which is kind of insane because we only have two stations attached to it, two, you know, and we are playing with despawn mode on. I mean, that's like crazy. So I placed uh, over here this cargo airport, but I don't like it. And this thing is going to be removed. It's going to be like destroyed. The reason for that is because I don't like the fact that it's just on a main road and that will definitely cause some issues. So I have been thinking, you know, while I was watching this map about, you know what, we are not going to uh, put any more lines here. What we are going to do is put the actual um, cargo airport in this location. And we can do that because we have a space over here and we can connect those up to these stations right over here. Yeah, and maybe it is then also possible to make a connection from those to maybe uh, a cargo harbor outside here. We still have to look at that because there are a little bit of issues regarding the tiles. Because I'm not allowed to get outside of the tiles. So. With all the disasters still on full swing over here, the whole thing, we will just continue this game. Um, I don't know what this traffic is, you know, why this is caused. I mean, we only have like two stations, one over here in the oil area and one here in the, well, what is it exactly here? Just a little farm, you know, with just a few, just two of these things, by the way. So, yeah, well, anyway. We will see how it will go. I press play now and let's just see how this will go. Now I want to put like a cargo uh, airport over here. Now I've been thinking about that. So let's have a look at that. And I want to use the one with the train line, which is this. Now this will be, let me see where we can put this now. Yeah, I want to put it here, but that train line is sort of semi in the way, but let me see how that dips down, if we put it... I have to pause the game for this, otherwise... <laughs> otherwise it will be a little bit messy. So what I'm going to do is... Put this line underneath this thing over here, yeah. So I'm taking it, and I take this, and then I will take it here. I do like my regular 12 by 12 like that and maybe it's useful to select the underground mode thank you thank you very much and we slide it all the way to here let's see how we can can connect this up it does not seem to be very straight this is like 23 so and i need 12 that's the difference of 11 11 hmm. okay let's turn off this thing so we can do an 11 then we bring it up then here home and then from there let's get out of this tunnel mode to there now let's see that should work Ooh. <laughs> oopsie uh, well, maybe we can slide this a little bit over. Yeah, to avoid that little issue there. Yeah, so I think this airport is better. I think it's better. Because we can now connect also these two train lines over here. This one, uh, this one here to the right and this one to this 
Chicago Airport, which we are going to do right now, as long as we don't have any uh, nasty um, disasters coming our way. But we will never know. Um, let's see how we are going to tackle this problem. Uh, well, actually, I am thinking just just dive into the ground. Actually, you know. I think that works best. Just like that. Yeah, no issues over there. So let me have a look at that station. Um, I cannot see a darn thing. Let me bring this up. Topsoil, top soil again. And, okay, it's over there. Okay, uh, that means like we need to make to elevate this okay no problems we can do that by a 12 by 12 and i can do the same over here i think although the bend will be how much will that bend be uh, that will be an interesting bend let's see what the uh, multi-network tool will do with that select you Select you, you, and you. That's nice. That will work, no problems. Now, this can we connect to here towards this thing. I think we have no issues with that. Let's just see. Coming from here, going underneath there. Can we squeeze that between these two? would have been nice you know but it does not line up the way how I want it to be so okay uh, if that's the case uh, can we just go over it you know, just paste this up to 12 what if I just do this now if I make just the bend bigger, like for example all the way to here, let's say, where's that train station, it's over there, okay, it's okay, I need to bend it back, but that's okay, let's say, let's do a 22 by a 22, yeah, come on, you know what, it actually it actually works yeah it actually works it goes up a slope a little bit it nicks a few trees which I don't like so trees go away a few trees are fine but not that many yeah okay let's connect this up uh, further okay you can also bring it down by the way I think so 10 8 and 4 is 12, home, done. Yeah, where's that station? Oh, it's there. Let's use this tool from here to there, from there to there to there, to there please. Can you work along? You don't? Ha, okay. Hmm, maybe because this is in the air, maybe? Maybe, yeah, can be. Don't, I don't know actually. No. Let's, do, let's do it like that and let's bring this down. You know what, let's put a curve into this, you know, a little bit of a manual curve. Roughly like this. Something like that and then press home. It's already home. Oh, okay. Okay, then update it to this. Mm, I think now the connection tool will work. From there to there. 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 And here we go. Lovely. Pitching. Right, so we have now a working cargo terminal which we are going to use because 
we're going to use that airport we turn this also on uh, the airport is the in station for this now this thing needs a bypass and of course it is situated in the most ridiculous spot that you can think of you know yeah okay you know how i work with bypasses bypasses i am doing with these things the question now is like okay i'm how i'm going to do this oh my life let me check this maybe maybe i should not be thinking too difficult just do it you know um no going a little bit further away um I want to make this go alongside that. So let's use the parallel mode tool, which is this. And we will go from there to there. Yeah, you can see that it's now going right next to it. And then use the plus and minus to create some distance. But, ta-da! Look at that, so high. <laughs> so this needs to drop down quite some bit. Also this is pretty high. I don't know why. Oh, because of the terrain, of course, naturally. Naturally. Um, yeah, let's drop this a bit. I mean, that's a little bit overkill. A little bit over the top, you know, OTT. Oh, that's the wrong button. So take that and also take that and we select the uh where's this tool this one to do it from here to there let's see what it does it brings it all the way to the ground still it seems high enough yeah how about from here to oh this thing is not even complete never mind never mind never mind i will bring this down because it needs to because this thing needs to go underground because this is this is a bypass yeah roughly about that and that bypass needs to go underground otherwise i cannot pass this station yes so let's see what we can do we can go underground by minus 12 let's select this option and yeah minus 12 and then we come out here and where is that train line is that still is that on top oh man is it coming out here 12 oh. let's see Oh, okay, okay, it's, it's fine, no problem. I thought it was like, uh, you know, uh, covering, covered up by that other thing. So let's connect it up to here. Yeah, and then we go to this side and we make also connection from here to there. And let's change that to you and you. And, and, whoop. So, okay, we can play uh, around with the alignments a little bit. This is looking very sloppy, if you ask me. Uh, I'm going to do something about this, you know. We are bringing this one down, yeah. Then a little bit up. Then I take this node and I will ali align it with that node. It seems to be already aligned, although you would not say. Uh, then we take this node. I will take it up also a little bit. Can they drive under it? Probably, yeah. Take this node and I will align it to that node. Come on, that's not the same height. That's not... That's not the same height. Control H to there. Oh, thank you. These are also not the same, by the way this one needs to be the same as that one yeah now now things are coming together a little bit better yeah this looks a little bit more fancy 
So we have now one bypass. Uh, that means like that the central bypass, we will slow them down to 80 like that. That means like that they will take the, um, what is this? Is that a connection or not? I'm not sure. Well, I don't know. Let's make the other uh, bypass from the other side, which is which should also not be too difficult. So let's select that node. Home. And it is from here or here. It's hard to say. This is like two units. Two units. There's all two units. Okay, so. Yeah, we go from there, you from there to there. Still, it does not look the same, you know, by watching it. So let me select this thing, select this node. I select that node and that node and then, yeah, I think this is it. We can go around it, I think. Let's see. Can we go around it? That would be nice. Hmm. Oh, the height. Oh, the height. Oh, wait a second. You align with you. Thank you. We have a little bit of terraforming to do here around, guys. Uh, nothing to do about that. I'm, all, I'm still happy we don't have any disasters as of now. Although, I have to admit, you know, secretly I do like the challenge of it <laughs> a little bit. Okay, now what are we going to do is uh, we are taking this thing. No, not that thing. This thing. I take it. Uh, we're going to this tool we go to the parallel mo uh, mod and we take this node and we bring it to this node yeah then from here we take it a little bit back so it will align let's see mm. no, this is a line this is the line okay enter thank you this up now look at that completely with all mess and stuff and whatever um, yeah so let's change a little bit over here now I'm pressing completely the wrong button uh, where's my train over here train train this one this one that one that one and that's a lot better also this one and this one and we can remove this section by the way because this has to be connected to there that's not too shabby okay, let's select this thing and we slope it nice we can also slope this thing by the way look this is also kind of flat flat but slope to the ground So this means like that trains that can now travel, if they are even traveling, I did not see them yet. Let's say they come from here. They can bring their stuff to basically the station if they want to. You know, they can they can do that, but it can also go on, you know, to the airport, which is more likely because uh, the airport will export and they also need power so let me provide them with some power two of these will be fine how about the water do they have water over here yeah there's a pipeline running although maybe this could be useful i think yeah Now I'm thinking, uh, this thing is on the end, right? But if I connect it somehow to this line, which by the way is 
empty again? Has it solved itself, the troubles? I don't see any trains anymore. Oh, all trains have gone. Um, still, it would be nice, for example, if trains come from this direction and then can export using this station but without interfering the, the other line. Um, I think it's possible mm, by using the one lane train track. Let's say we're coming from here. That's the wrong button. Come on, you go from there to this is already climbing. Uh, okay. You go from there to there. And then from there to there. Now let's see. How far does this go up? How far is it? Is it 12? Okay, we bring that to 12. With the right option. Yeah. And then... We need to connect it basically up to this line. Now let me have a look. That is tricky. Although we can also curve it around like that. That's also not a bad idea. Yeah. From there to there. So how far is this? 12. Okay, well it goes to there. So we need a little bit more space than that. So we add six yeah okay and then a 12 by a 12 and then another 12 by a 12 Ooh, that is getting cl very close by um yeah that is very actually too close by let me delete this bring this on a little bit further do another 12 by 12 and you know let's also sync this down already by 6 and we don't have to worry about that anymore another 12 by 12 12 by 11 yes press home now what this will do is they will it will insert basically It will insert a train that goes into this station, which is fine, you know, because it can only go one way, like that. It enters the station and then it exits here because there's no connection point here and I will bring it then back to this point so it can go back to whatever area it wants to be. In this situation, um, well, if I do make a connection from here, then everything that flies in here can also, uh, yeah, be added to this line. Now I'm not sure how that will work out. That could be a, you know, spell disaster because, well, if you if you will not try it, you will never know it. So let's get this thing into the air again. Just like that. Now let's see what is the proper bend here to get around that roundabout. 11 by 11, that would work, yeah. Or something short, 12 maybe. Nay, not a, not a 12, not a 12. 10 by, come on, don't do that to me. Okay, again, 11 by 11, I should have picked that. No, it's not, I don't like it, you know? I like the, actually, the 10, 12, what was it? No, 10 by an eight. 10 by an eight, 10 by an eight. Something like that. Yeah, that works also. 
Now, let's bring this down. And bring this back to the main line over here. Right, right, right. So how far is this? This is 17, so we make it a 7 for a 10 by 10 bend. 10 by 10 to there, and from here to there, and then from here to there. Nice! So these guys will really never cross each other. Let's see. Well, unless they merge here together, but we don't have any lane mathematics here in these train connections. But yeah, let's just see how this will work. Uh, so don't we have any tsunamis coming here? Oh! What the hell is that? Now I understand why I don't get a notification, because my buoys are here in the middle. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. I never saw this one coming. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh. That will cause troubles. And because it's coming from... It's 9.1. Oh my god, that will be a city killer. Um... I think, since the direction it's coming from, uh, yeah, do I make a hole here in this open, in this, yeah, I think so, because then the water can flow away, um, too much soil, I have too much soil, I have too much soil, okay, that's another, another thing. Okay, then let's just make this thing a little bit higher. Why not? Okay, let's make an opening here. Yeah, that will do. Uh, oh my life, you know. Uh, nine point. Oh my god, that is going to demolish everything. How much money? I do have enough money, that's for sure. Um, is there anything I can do? Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, you know, regarding pumps or something. Making making canals that could help, you know, temporary, a little bit, a little bit of a canal around here. Uh, let's see if I can just um, monkey around something. Uh, let's grab the deep canal, just like that. It will catch some water, and then bring it to there. Yeah, there's no, not much more space available. Uh, that's crap. Okay, anyway, um, now let me grab those super large water pumps. These ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I know that the tsunami is coming. I know. I'm aware. I'm fully aware of it. I know. Okay, let's connect these things up. I need also to hurry because these these things also need power. And you might say like, well, they will get power from the city. That is true, but if the city is flooded, then maybe a lot of these power sources will be destroyed. We don't know. And that's the reason why I'm going to use this artificial levee as a 
place for some turbines and let's just hope that these things will not get destroyed sure if this will survive so we will see about that okay let's speed up the game this will be uh, yeah <laughs> this will be a disaster look at the amount of ships you know they're flying how my trains do so uh, these two there are only two of them. If I just move this thing a little, like that, and then I move this thing a little to there, and then move this thing a little also to there, then I take this building also again and I make another one. Can that help? Yes, but I need to reconnect them. Come on. Yeah, gotcha. Okay, um, yeah, we turn them on. We turn these guys also on. Wait, wait, wait a second. Run to the shelters. I only have one shelter here for 10,000 people. Oh my life. Wait a second, pause. Quick pause. Quick pause. Large emergency shelter. Let's build one over there. Evacuate citizens. Yeah. Bring them bring them there. Oh it's already coming! Oh no, look at that. Oh look at that! Uh oh a tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and I don't have any shelter for these people. Oh my life. Look at that. That is horrendous. <laughs> I I never seen this before in the um, you know the test video that I once did to try things out, but this is like Oh, that's like, that wave, that is like 20 meters tall at least, it will destroy everything. All the, these buildings will be destroyed, only the big buildings will stay, all these small buildings will be destroyed. Uh, oh, oh my gosh. And if I, you know, if I'm lucky, all the poop will also flood into the city. <laughs> At least this thing does its job a little bit. I wonder if this thing will be safe. Hmm. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my life. Yeah, avoid waterfronts, which is kind of uh, easy to do, you know, when you are in a city that lies 100 whatever beneath the sea level. Look at this wave, it completely will destroy everything. Everything will be kaput. Well, you can clean your car. Oh my gosh, and how about this side? Oh my life, this thing is just as big. I did send some people to this shelter, but I don't know if it's enough. Everything has been demolished over here. 
this, look at this, only the tall buildings will survive. Oh, this building did survive. That's fun. Oh, and how's my uh, drain? Whoa. Not really helping, this is just going into the city, but my drain is catching something. So maybe it takes, I don't know, a little bit out of the power of this part. Oh no, it's still very high. <laughs> there, there goes the shelter. Mommy, I want to get out! Not now! Don't you hear it on the other side of the doors? <laughs> this is dope! My whole industry, everything is completely wiped out. Everything is wiped. Let me get back to the normal screen. I'm still making a pro profit. Well, some people... Do I have like a... No, 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 not yet. Uh, no, I don't have a report just yet. Well, you know, the worst part is most of this water cannot even go anywhere. No, it can't. Well, yeah, maybe... Hmm. I should have thought about that earlier. Make, also making a canal over here. Uh, where am I? Here? Canal. This one. Just make a canal of like that. And then... Water structures and then pumping. Pumps. Come on. You, 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 and you. then connect these guys up where are my pipes darn it get my pipes okay now we need power how do I get them power uh, tricky maybe through these things now from this side maybe just from the hill and then just drag a power line down take caution and avoid roads and water ponds until the water recedes well whatever <laughs> as long as they suck uh, the water in I'm happy ooh the vacuum trucks are busy these guys enabled by the way now yep helicopters in use helicopters in use yep they are en route repairing things now if you watch now this button destruction now you can see how much destruction there is now everything that is red is still destroyed everything that is green can be repaired you see rebuild rebuild which is a very nice feature because it shows you already directly what can be rebuilt. Rebuilt. Yeah, most of these smaller structures can be rebuilt, so... Oh, historic building. Oh, it's ready to rebuild. Come on. It's not an historical building. Get out of here. Rebuild. Multiple problems. No power. How much water is there still left? Can we safely let the people out again? Yeah, I think so. So, release all the citizens. They can get out. This was a very unexpected uh, event, uh, actually. Did not anticipate that. So, the train lines didn't really suffer. Uh, the cargo terminals themselves are completely destroyed. 
It's a complete mess. Mm. Yeah, they, this will take some time to uh, actually repair. And uh, you know what? We are going to save that for episode 7. Because I'm already recording up to uh, 40 minutes. And I'm not going to repair all this stuff. And I will call it just, you know, by making a screenshot of this. You know, of this mess. <laughs> the big one. Maybe we have a better place with more destruction like over here for example yeah definitely well anyway you will see uh, how this will be rebuilt in episode 7 and um, it was a tsunami 9 point somewhat okay the question is like, will there be any any disaster at all that will be completely annihilating the city? I don't know. We will see. We will see. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching. And until next time. See you. Bye-bye.